Okay, I'm having problems sleeping, as I usually do. And I decided just to come on and just chat about whatever the fuck's going on in this really messed up world right now. In the dark. <laughs> no makeup and bed hair. But you guys are all used to that. Okay, so let's just talk about some gossip. On my Yahoo... For some reason, all the good stories come up. Okay, the truth is, I don't really give a shit about celebrities at all. Like if I saw someone famous um, at the store, which, you know, happens all the time in Southern California, I would probably just acknowledge who they are in my head, like, oh, they're so-and-so, and then I would walk on and not think about it. Uh, the one person, as I've said before many times, that I would freak the fuck out over is Liza Minnelli. Yeah, she's like a living legend. I probably would cry. And I'm not into autographs at all. I don't understand autographs. I don't know why people want them. And that's just me, though. I, you know, I could understand certain people, but for me, myself, I'm just thinking, what the fuck? An autograph? What are they going to do with the autograph? Um, you know, I'd rather somebody write on my tits, but even that, I'm like, no, I'm good. Okay, so Liza Minnelli, I would cry, and I would want her autograph, absolutely. A picture with an autograph. Yeah. So she's the only person I really give a shit about in this fucked up world. <laughs> Yeah, and she doesn't have um, social networking accounts, I don't think. And there's a good reason for that. I don't blame her at all. But she's like old school, man. I mean, she could sing and dance and act, and she's funny, and she seems like a really good person. And she admits her when she's wrong, you know. I just, I think she's fabulous. Bet Mettler, too, I think she's fabulous, but I wouldn't probably freak out and ask for an autograph. I'm trying to think of who else. I like divas. I do. I like divas, but she, I think Liza's the only diva that I would just be like, oh my god! Okay, so let's just get that straight. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Uh, Philly Pretzel Factory create creators have ties in the Poconos? Okay, if you've never been to Philadelphia, they sell these enormous pretzels, soft pretzels on each corner. It seems like all year. I don't know. They might take a break during the winter because they might freeze. I don't know. Sorry, my hair's a mess. Um, <laughs> and they are the best fucking pretzels you will ever have in your entire life. So if you ever go there... Don't hesitate to stop and get your ass a big pretzel, like this big. And, um, okay. I like mine with just mustard and some salt. But, you know, everyone likes theirs differently. But they're just really, really soft and yummy and perfect. And you won't get a, a better pretzel. They sell them in the stores, you know, in the freezer department. And they're the worst. They're not that bad. But if you've had one from Philly, you're like, yeah, fuck that shit. Okay. So here's another story. <laughs> um, this is a sad... I mean, Luke Perry died, and it's, it's really sad. I was never... <sighs> I was never a fan of his, because I didn't watch anything that he was on. I refused to watch 90210. I don't... I have my reasons. Um... Some of you may know who they, what they are, but, um, so I was never, like, like, a fan of anyone in that cast, really. I didn't really know who they were, and, um, I know that they were huge at the time. And in the 90s, I was really fucking busy. You know, I just didn't have time to watch TV at all, or have crushes on anyone except Billy Baldwin, who, by the way, I still, he's still a hottie. Okay. But yeah, he was my 90s crush. Okay, so they're asking in here, did 
a vegan diet kill Luke Perry? What a stupid fucking question. Um, as far as I know, sorry, someone, a message came up on my screen and I'm like, I didn't understand it at first. Okay, I was a vegetarian for many, 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 many years. And I was a vegan for a few years. And then I, it's a long story. But during my teenage years, I grew up, I never, okay, I went to like three different high schools. But when I lived in uh, San Diego, and I went to a performing arts high school, I decided to become a vegetarian. And back then, vegetables were cheaper than anything else. And I couldn't handle thinking of animals being killed just so I could eat. And I was very uh, sensitive and self-conscious. Um, I don't know. I'm not even making sense right now. It's like 3 o'clock. But in any event, I was vegetarian. And I had a lot of soy products. There's a lot of way to get protein. A lot of way to get protein, especially now these days. It's very expensive to be vegan, though. It really is. Um, I think if they made it cheaper a lot, uh, people would be more healthier and be able to not buy leather shoes. Because the fake ones sometimes are more expensive than the real leather. Oh, God, this is a whole thing. And I could talk about this forever. And maybe I will. Maybe I'll do a live and we could all talk about eating styles and what have you. But yeah, they're trying to say that that's what killed him at 52. And I don't know what killed him at 52. No one, no one does. Maybe he had a history of heart disease in his family. Um, maybe he was under a lot of stress and, or maybe he was sick with the flu and who knows? I don't know what happened to him. I don't know how he died of a heart attack so, so young. And it's so sad to me and to everyone who knows him, you know, I don't know him. I've never met him, but he seemed like such a beautiful human being. So anyways, yeah, that's what they're saying. I think they need to just leave him alone, let him rest in peace. And everyone wants to blame something. And, um, you know, that always bothers me. Um, okay. What else? Okay, uh, Cameron Diaz is overacting full-time, but she's still open to taking some gigs, I guess. I love Cameron Diaz. I always have. Since the very first movie she did, I think. I can't remember what it was. I think it was the one with, um... Oh my god, I can't think <laughs> Um... I don't know. I'm sure just write it out if you if you know the answers just write it there <laughs> uh was it Jim Carrey was it the mask was that the first movie she did I think it was she had the short hair but she was still super cute no no wait she had a wig she had the long hair and she had the fake boobs but she didn't really have fake boobs they just made it look like she had fake boobs yeah okay so it was the mask that movie was really funny um yeah, a lot of people tuck shit on her and say she's not pretty and she's not funny and not talented, but I I think she's all of those things. I think she's a good actress. I think she's funny. Um, I think she's so unique in so many ways, and I've always liked her. And, okay, so she married, I think it's Benji Madden. I can't remember which one married which, the twins. So she's 46 years old. She married him a few years ago, I think. And she's never been happier. And they're just the cutest thing ever. I mean, I don't think you could get any cuter than that. He's that type. Like, I never thought they were attractive before. But I could totally understand why Nicole and Cameron married them. Because they seem loyal. They seem consistent and down to earth. And super cuddly. But also, they're the types that would totally get up in the middle of the night to make you something to eat if you were hungry. Or open your car door for you. Or pull out the chair. You know, they just seem like really good men. And she seems really happy and content. 
and she dated a lot of, you know, high profile people in the past. And so now she finally settled down. And so I'm happy for her. Um, okay, so this is Oliver, Olivia Jade won't return Aunt Becky's phone calls. So basically she won't return her mother's phone calls. And, okay, this is a hard one. Um, you know, because I grew up, my mom left at 12 and I would have loved to have a mother try to buy off a school so I could get in. <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but her mother obviously really, really loves her daughters and she wants them to have a career. She doesn't want them to be like every other famous person's child, you know, and unfortunately she kind of created some monsters. Um, I, I guess Olivia became an influencer and an influencer is somebody who, you know who it is, I don't even have to tell you. Yeah, they wear a certain thing, they talk about a certain thing, they do a blog about a certain thing, vlog I should say, on Instagram or what have you, and, um, they're so dazzling and inspiring or whatever that people want to buy whatever they're wearing or talking about and you can make a lot of money doing that if you're famous you know if you're like Britney Spears or whatever or the Kardashians that's how they made a living or making or making a living from the beginning on the side is they promote products and because people are so obsessed with them which I still don't know why but that's not my problem um, people will buy whatever they have and I'm not gonna lie I saw, I think it was one of the Kardashians on Instagram, <laughs> and it wasn't my fault. It was somebody reposted them, and I'm only saying that because I'm not, you know, I'm not a fan. Um, I don't hate them. I'm just not a fan of theirs. Okay, so in any event, she was wearing, I can't remember which one it was, but one of those bitches was wearing <laughs> really cute pants. They were so cute. They were like checkered. Um... A little bit baggy with like a really slim tank but then like a baggy jacket to go with it I don't know but I wanted those pants actually I wanted the whole outfit and then I was mad at myself and I was thinking oh my god no I don't want that fucking outfit I don't want to look like a Kardashian so um that's what an influencer is so Olivia even though I, I never thought of her mom as famous ever but then again I never watched that show she was on so she won't talk to her mother she thinks her mother ruined her life which she kind of did I mean but she knew what was going on and she knew what was happening the whole time but she's 19 years old you know yeah she's old enough to know right from wrong but her mother and her father were the ones orchestrating this whole thing and so she probably thought, well, obviously it's not wrong because all my friends got in this way and my mom's doing this. So, and there you go. Um, she thinks her life's over. She thinks she has no career. Now it's time for her to actually study and get into school, but maybe try junior college first online. And, um... I don't know, I've heard her in interviews, and she's, uh, she's young, she's 19, so she's not the smartest person I've heard speak, but this is the United States. I don't think we've heard uh, really intelligent people speak in a very long time. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I don't hate on her, I don't hate on her. Uh, she never wanted to go to school, she said so, and her mom... I understand where she's coming from because she didn't want her just to be another Hollywood child. So I do believe that her mom needs to be punished and so does her father and this shouldn't keep happening because there's so many brilliant people, brilliant children in this world. How long have I been on here? Oh my god, 14 minutes. I should just go live. And um Okay, so that's my take on that, is that, yeah, I mean, obviously this has to stop, but it, it is kind of sad, because even though she's kind of a brat, she really is, she's super spoiled, 
she went on and on about this like Gucci purse. It's like, I don't know if it's Gucci, but she held it up and was staring at it and just all, you know, screaming about it for like 10 minutes. And I'm thinking, that's sad. It kind of reminded me of when the Kardashian sisters were young. And I think it was Entertainment Tonight went to visit. And they just wanted, you know, to talk to them and see what makes them happy and all this. And they brought them to their closets. And they showed off all their shit, all the material items in their closets. Well, these are the new shoes I got, and this is the new Gucci jacket, and the Prada, and and I just thought, oh my god, they're like 12 and 13. This is so sad. They don't really have anything else to be happy about except material items. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. It's really sad. Okay, so what else is going on? in this world. Uh, the UPS driver, I don't know, here's proof. Huawei is now a Titanic consumer brand. Okay, I'm, I'm totally saying it wrong and my roommate makes fun of me all the time because I I cannot say it right. Who, who we, who are we? I don't know, but I'm on their phone right now and you could get one for like two twenty-five. It's called the Huawei Mate. It's spelled um, H-U-A-W-E-I. So um, now all of you know how horrible I am at spelling this, um, or, or not spelling, pronouncing this. But it's the best phone I've ever had, ever. It takes the best pictures. Um, it just, everything about it is amazing. And I'm so grateful that I have it. What X? It's weird. I keep reading. Okay. So not only did I get the phone, but I got the tablet as well. So they have a tablet out. And this one was only $100. Maybe 105 at the most. And it's better than any tablet I've ever had. Ever. Um... And I've had the Apple, I've had the Samsung, I've had the crappy phone, I've had all that. So if you're looking for a budget, if you're on a budget and you're looking for a quality phone or tablet, that's only eight inches, but it's amazing, it's perfect. Uh, yeah, go for the Hawaii <laughs> Mate. I, uh, I think it's Hawaii Mate 10 or I don't know, but I think it's like 225. Okay, so that's a, that's that. Um, uh, let me see what else is going on. I think that's it. Um, yeah, let me look. I'm up late and I'm obsessively playing a word game. And it's because I can't sleep at night sometimes. And so I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to be like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to do a video. How about that? So that's what's up. That's what's up in the world. Uh, I'm not going to bring up the obvious. Oh, and by the way, I have some kind of sinus issue going on right now. It's not fun at all. And so does Charlie always. <laughs> you know, he's a cavalier. He's always got that sinus thing going on. But he's my baby. And, alright. Shit. All right, love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Peace out. Oh, I'm wearing nail polish today. And these are my real nails. And I never wear nail polish because I am so fucking lazy that I hate taking it off and then having to put it back on again. And it's a really stupid reason. But I do my toes mostly. And then I just always forget about my fingers. Um, all right, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>